Welcome back. I'm Nicole VW and this is Hoarder's Delight. And there hasn't been too much of a change. I think the wood, I'm about done on the Silver Bell wood, uh, but I'm not sure. Uh, there's that's like the closest I'm getting done to anything. Uh, I'm not sure if I showed you guys this so I decided uh, For the ceiling of the hole or the floor of the building that I'm gonna make uh, is going to be marble and Andesite and then I'm gonna put a row of marble here as well and then um, I think I might put a row of glass around the clear glass or something uh, and then it'll probably just be uh, chiseled cobble uh, for the rest of it because I'm running out of marble and uh, andesite and it only spawns within the first top few layers and I need a lot a lot more than what is offered in this hole so yeah I think I'm gonna have to go to chiseled cobble so, if you watched my uh, short little video on the TriCraftia server, you kind of get an idea of what my hole is going to look like once I get done. Uh, it's just going to be on a massive scale instead of a smaller one. I'm almost done digging this out. There's a lot of lava in here, uh, so I'm having to go kind of slow which is kind of a pain to do. Uh, but I have noticed if you take it, you know what, let's put some of this down so I get it out of my inventory. Uh, if you take it one layer at a time, once you get to like the bottom uh, 10, 11 layers, I think lava is at a layer 11. Uh, if you take it one layer at a time, it's a lot nicer. Uh, so, it's a lot easier to deal with instead of digging into the side and then the lava pouring everywhere. Okay, let me show you what I mean. It takes a lot of, <laughs> of yeah. So if we dig here uh, and we keep going down, this is okay. Uh, but let's see if I can find some lava. No, okay, let's do it this way. Uh, and I'll show you what I mean. There we go. So the lot you break in and the lava pours down and you plug up the holes and the lava gets everywhere and then you gotta wait for it to despawn. And so if you do this, you get the lava, then you can plug up the holes and take care of it one layer at a time. It's a lot faster, a lot less messy. Uh, you occasionally do have areas like this that'll still uh, pour over the side, but there's really, unless you catch those really quickly, there's really not a whole lot you can do about that. And if you stand on the edge, you know there's a block there, so you don't have to worry about it. Don't stand up against here because you don't know if there's gonna be lava behind there. Uh, but if you stand on the outside block and mine, uh, you can do that it's a lot easier. So this is how I handle like the last 10 or 11 levels uh, is to do that. Uh, and then I can put the stuff away and now it's out of my inventory. Yay! So if you decide to make a big giant hole like this, if you're crazy enough to do it without a quarry, you want to do it manually, uh, you can uh, think about that. Now, there is lava pools that are going to be up higher than that uh, around the world. Those are a lot more sporadic, so you don't really have to worry about those as much. So you can just mine it like normal into the side. Uh, but especially around the outside walls, it gets a little difficult to start mining and you, lava just gets everywhere. You got to be careful. I've set myself on fire multiple times. Uh, in fact, I set myself on fire this morning. Uh, it was a pain. Uh, but I'm trying desperately to get 
this stuff dug out so I can lay down the floor. Then I can put up some walls. I have a uh, cobblestone already being automatically chiseled over there. And let's see what else am I doing? I'm working on that. I ran out of andesite. Is that andesite? No, this is it. No, this is granite. Yeah, whatever that the gray one is. <laughs> All the names are too similar. And marble, I ran out of that stuff. I got to dig some more out. Uh, but I just, I can't use any more of that. And I really wanted to use marble for um, the building up here. But if I do that, I might just build the building in creative and do the rest of this. Uh, once I get this done, then I'll just build the rest of it in creative. Because I do want the top to look kind of neat and pretty. Uh, but this stuff, I really kind of want to do manually. And like I said, you know, I don't have this on a server, so it's not running unless I'm playing. And I don't like to go AFK. If I'm going to have my game running, I'm going to be playing it. So if this gives me something to do while the, you know, the quests are working, the trees are growing, uh, the food is growing, the uh, food is being made it's going so slow i need to figure out a way to um speed it up i really need to just have like massive massive builds and just make huge farms and i don't know i'm i'm gonna need something that's a lot bigger than what i have now the max size mfr farms are good uh but I'm going to need like two or three per food. Yeah. I think uh, two or three per food or per uh, food item is what I need. And that's going to require me to, uh, well, if I put it outside, I could do solar panels for each one. I could do that. Yeah, I could do that. It's just, <laughs> I, when I was making the quest book, I really honestly didn't think too much about the quests and what it would take to actually do the quests and uh, what it would require, how long it would take. I was just doing it as kind of a challenge for myself. I wanted a big project. I wanted to have something that would give me an excuse to make a big, huge uh, factory and farm and stuff. And I guess I just haven't thought big enough for the quests that I made myself. So, uh, and I'm sure you guys have probably figured out a good way to do it uh, a lot better than me. Uh, so... I don't know. You guys need to let me know. What are your ideas? What are you doing if you're playing this pack? What are you doing about how much of the stuff you need? Like, how are you automating it? Are you making big system? Are you doing it small and just doing everything all at once? Are you, like, I, I really want to know what your setups look like. If you can tweet me your pictures of your builds, I would absolutely love that. I will take a look at each and every one, and I would love that. I That's what I spend my days doing uh, practically when I'm playing, if I'm not recording or uh, streaming with a uh, four ounce scoop, I am watching YouTube videos, watching Twitch. I am looking at, I'm reading uh, Reddit and looking at Minecraft builds there and reading the FTB uh, subreddit. I'm, I'm looking for ways to improve my game so that, and tips, so I can pass that stuff on to you guys as well. So uh, help me out, let me know what you guys do. If you have any tips or tricks, uh, especially with this pack, I would love to hear it. I. I love that stuff. I love it. Uh, and I love the Minecraft community and how helpful 
and how much we share things. It's just great to me. So, uh, I hope if you are playing this pack, you can find it on the Curse Launcher if you're not. Uh, I hope if you are playing it that you're finding it fun and enjoying it and not too frustrating. I think it takes a special kind of person to want to do this sort of thing. And, uh, and by special, I mean crazy. <laughs> so I think most of my friends are just crazy enough uh, to want to do it, which I think says a lot about them as well. <laughs> you know who you are out there. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will leave it at that. I'm going to finish digging this out. Hopefully get these walls put up. Get the floor finished in here. Well, not finished, but laid out. Uh, if you've watched the other video, I had a layer of glowstone and then bricks and glass on top of it. This one I'm going to have granite, and I'm going to uh, light it up a different way. Uh, so it's going to have more pot lighting since I don't have to worry about mobs on this one. So that way uh, I can light it up where it's not really lit but you can still kind of see so it might be hard to see in uh, a video but maybe at the end i will have a download link so that you guys could download my world uh, i need to figure out how to do that so uh, that way you guys can take a look at it for yourself but i really want to have this whole done uh, before i can i do that so because that would be kind of the reason for you guys to check it out. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.